Hi there, I'm Angie Moreski here in the Consumer Warning Network Media Suite at the James Hoyer Law Firm, where we work to bring you consumer news you can use. Today, we're going to take a look at something that can affect all of us these days, cyber criminals. Whenever you're online, they're out there lurking, waiting for an opening to try and steal your personal information. It can really send your life into a tailspin. So today, some companies offer what they call dark web scans to help you protect your information. But how much does it really help? Well, we talked to an expert to find out and to get some tips for you to help you protect yourself. Watch this. Many of us worry about cyber criminals lurking on the web trying to steal our personal information. It's a big concern for me because I know a lot of people that have had problems with that. So it's something that I worry about and also my banking and everybody's heard a story about something that's hacked into their account. Dark web scans are promoted as a way to discover if your personal information is on the underground platform. These are different auctions that are going on. Computer security expert Jacob Lott showed us, unfortunately, the benefits of dark web scans are likely pretty limited. Nobody gives away data and information for free. Yahoo hacked MailsPack. Sure enough, unless you buy the list, only 10 hacked Yahoo emails out of 3 billion are provided on this sample log. Very, very limited. He says it's more effective to pay attention and take action if a company sends you notice your account might be breached. One thing you can do to protect yourself if you think your identity is compromised is freeze your credit. That makes it harder for identity thieves to open accounts in your name. It's free now and easier than ever thanks to a new law that recently took effect. All you have to do is make a request to all three credit bureaus on the phone or online. Oh, I think that's fantastic. Also, be sure to change your passwords often and make them complex. Never use your kids' names, your pet's name, your birthday. When it comes to passwords, it's best to use a combination of numbers, letters, upper and lower case, and symbols, and to use a different password for all your accounts. I know it can be a lot to remember, but our expert Jacob says if you need a little help, you can use a password manager that automatically encrypts and remembers your passwords for you so it's less likely that you'll get hacked. Okay, one last thing, public Wi-Fi. It is a bad idea to log into your personal accounts on public Wi-Fi, especially if you're doing sensitive things like banking or making purchases with your credit cards, so be careful there. I'm Angie Moreski here at the Consumer Warning Network. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.